Thank you, and good afternoon to everyone. It's afternoon in South Africa this time. Um, yeah, uh, we can move to the next slide. I just need to firstly maybe mention that um, Gauteng city region is actually a center of employment, not just for people who come from South Africa, but it has a greater impact for the Southern African region. For instance, uh, people from neighboring countries such as Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Botswana, Mozambique, Malawi, the DRC, a lot of them work in South Africa. So we have been in, in the lockdown for about 35 days. And this 35 day period has had an impact not just in our economy, but it has, an, it, it has had an impact in the remittances that are sent to these various countries. What we have done in the, in, in, in the period of 35 days here in, in, in the Gauteng city region, most of you know it as Johannesburg, which is one of our biggest cities. Uh, what we have certainly done is to uh, firstly support people with food, basic things like food and shelter. And um, this is because uh, we have had a lot of job losses. A lot of our firms were unable to survive the 35-day period. In the main, the reason being that when we went on a COVID-19 uh, lockdown, already our economy, even for our city region, was in a recession. So the, 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 the lockdown happened when we're already a fragile economy. We can move to the next slide. Uh, okay, we can actually move to the next slide. So, so what we have done, because um, our responses are, are as, 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 as a city region are not only economic, but they are also social. So what we've done is to um, actually support uh, people for the post lockdown period. For instance, from tomorrow, we are downgrading the lockdown to a, a, a lower level where people can now do business. So amongst the things that we are doing is to help them to access new markets because in, they, they now cannot trade internationally because uh, the movement of goods is not yet uh, fully flash, flourishing. We, what we've also done together with the domestic banks was to negotiate payment holidays for a lot of the people who would have lost income, for a lot of businesses that would have lost income. We've also negotiated payment holidays uh, with municipal services. So we are now, as a city region, getting a lot of support from our central government because we are not collecting municipal revenues. Okay, um, so, so in the main, almost all the banks that uh, we work with um, or that operate in South Africa have lent their hand in helping us to deal with the challenges. Um, the other thing, which is going to be uh, my, my, my last point actually, is that some of you may know that um, Johannesburg uh, in South Africa is regarded as amongst the most highly unequal societies um, in the world. Um, so, um, and, and what COVID-19 has done, it was to expose more um, the, the areas of weakness of people that have no places to, to, to stay and who suffer from not having access to sanitation. We've always known that these problems exist, but what COVID-19 situation has done was to highlight uh, those areas. So what amongst our solutions um, it has been that we needed to drive a very aggressive uh, infrastructure program, which is meant to solve some of these problems. Most of these people are South African, but a significant number of them also are people who would have come from other countries as immigrants. And we, we suddenly found ourselves that now that they don't have um, uh, incomes, uh, it is now the state that is supposed to make sure that they've got shelter, they've got food, and that they are well secured. Um, 
that's our input. Thank you.